Welcome back to the channel where today I will be doing an unboxing video. This package was sent to me from my brother-in-law in Chesapeake, Virginia. This here, uh, we, I've given him beers over the last couple years and he sent me a couple different packages. This was the latest one that he sent me. So I'm going to jump right into this. And again, out of uh, Chesapeake, Virginia. Last time he sent me a lot of uh, beers that are available in that area. So we'll see what he sent me uh, this time around. So we're going to jump right into it. Uh, I did open the package, or I sliced the box open just to kind of make sure everything was intact. I do see a couple of uh, Build Your Owns, uh, Dogfish Head, uh, different type of breweries right there on that. I think I actually got one back here on the the wall somewhere all right so let's jump into this and remove this dunny out of here all right so we got nicely ziploc bagged up just in case there would be some spillage on the way all right so first one we're going to jump into is back bay brewing company and let's see here this is 757 american lager Brewed and canned by Back Bay Brew House in Virginia Beach, Virginia. So, look at that there. Very cool. I actually like that. That writing there, that font, that coloring. I like all that stuff there. Uh, say 4.6% uh, alcohol by volume, American lager. So, this should be a crusher right there, right? 757 is a remix on classic lager with a with headlining aromas of lemon, lime, and smoked, and a smoked salt finish. Hmm. Find your refuge. That sounds interesting right there. Looking forward to all of these right here. Now we got a 16-ouncer. Uh, Bryant's Dry Cider finished with oak tannins. Interesting. It's called Bright Good. Bryant's Dry Cider Company, I guess interesting right here it's been a while since i've done a well it's been definitely a couple minutes since i've done a cider here on the channel uh let's see here this cool artwork hey i'm an animal lover we got a couple what looks to be uh labradors or something like that right there blue heads on there like a bluish color anyway uh definitely cool it's been a while since i've done a cider so i'm actually looking forward to that honestly uh, let's see here. One from... Who is this from? Well, it's called a Lady Hefeweizen. It's a Hefeweizen L. Uh, from, is it Nost Brewing Project? Head Brewer Rachel Howard. Oh, that's pretty cool. List it right there. Head Brewer. You don't see that a whole lot there. Giving the actual credit to the brewer there on the can. On the can. Uh, this is coming in at 5.1%. So a 5.1% ABV uh, out of Fort Monroe, Virginia. And this one here was out of uh, Roseland, Virginia. So... So far, we got some Virginia brews right here. Last one in this bag, one called Keep It C, Commonwealth Brewing Company. I think I've had one from them. He may have sent me one from them. Family owned and operated. These guys are out of Virginia Beach as well. So Keep It C, double IPA, Cryo Cascade, Centennial, and Columbus. Malts are two-row malt, oats, and wheat. And this one's coming in at 8.3% alcohol by volume. So keep it C. Interesting. Keep it C because all the hops start with the C. I like that. I like that play right there. All right, we got another package of four more coming out of here what these bad girls are or bad girls uh, another one from the nost brewing project uh not i don't know if it's nost or no some pronouncing a nost uh nostos or nostos american lager again uh head brewer rachel howard an american lager coming in at four and a half percent alcohol by volume and again uh these guys were located or 
girls, ladies were located in uh, Fort Monroe, Virginia. So two of them, at least two of them from the NOST, am I pronouncing that correctly? NOST Brewing Project. Let's see what else we got in here. Elation. I'm assuming, I'm going to pronounce it Elation Brewing. Uh, Lorkmont Lager. Or is it Larkmont? Larkmont. I think that's a Larkmont Lager. German style Pilsner. So we got a lager at 5.1% alcohol by volume right here and 39 IBU. Let's see the IBU right there. I like that. And this one is coming in, like I said, 5.1%, 39 Larkmont, Larkmont Lager. Larkmont Lager is a medium body German style Pilsner brewed with a blend of three different Pilsner malts for a unique profile. The use of 100% size hops creates a beautiful bouquet of herbal and floral aromas that translates to the palate for the most enjoyable beer experience. Fantastic. Thank you, my good brother-in-law. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. Oh, a Halloween. Oh, it looks like I haven't finished filming all the Halloween beer reviews, so it looks like we got a bonus one right here. Uh, this here is All Hallows Treat, an imperial chocolate peanut butter stout. What's crazy is I think I just watched somebody do a video. I'm going to have to go back. Uh, do some type of video review on this on YouTube. I'm going to have to check that out. And I remember thinking that was pretty good. And I believe this is the beer. Imperial Chocolate Peanut Butter Stout, I believe is what it was. So I am looking forward to this one right here. 7.6% uh, alcohol by volume. So it's not a huge I, uh, IBU or ABV. I'm sorry for the uh, for an Imperial, but... Uh, should be fantastic. Um, it says, sweet and spooky, like the perfect Halloween night. All Hallows treat rekindles your favorite childhood holiday memories, aromas, and flavors of dark chocolate, creamy peanut butter, and a soft vanilla finish. Swirl a smooth body and medium mouthfeel. It's the perfect throwback that brings you to your first bite of chocolate in chocolate peanut butter cup. Interesting. Super pumped about that one right there. And last, but very much not least, is Aslan Apiza. Now that's a slice. So what do we got here? Aslan, Aslan Beer Company. Aslan's Apiza. A pizza. Is it a pizza? A pizza? There's a slice of pizza there, right? And this here is a sour ale brewed with watermelon, raspberry, blackberry, mint, toasted coconut, and milk sugar. That is quite the list of adjuncts right there. And that is coming in at 6% alcohol by volume. So, so hey, I appreciate my brother-in-law. He's a good man sending me this stuff. I hope you guys tune in and watch, uh, watch the reviews of these as I drop them over the the coming weeks or whenever I release them here on the channel. This one right here will probably be the first one that I get into and it'll be released. Uh, it'll be a bonus video for the Halloween beer week is probably what I'm going to run it. So anyhow, thanks for watching.